Let's have a quick visit to the online's harms bill. Bill. <laughs> it's, it's given out and pushed by the Trudeau Liberals to, as, a, as a way of protecting kids. But really what I think and what a lot of people think are, can see around the protecting kids thing part and see that it's a sort of a backdoor way into, well, censoring the internet. The Liberal Party tweeted just the other day, July the 6th, and they said, protecting kids online seems like common sense, so why is Pierre Polyev opposing it? Let's have a listen to what they had to say on this matter, and let's have a listen to the awesome <laughs> answer that Polyev gave, and then I'll tell you why we don't need an online harm act run by the government. Internet safety is a subject talked about in most households, especially with vulnerable family members, young kids or seniors. The proposed bill is aimed at online companies and expected to target hate speech, terrorist content, child exploitation and the sharing of non-consensual images. If they wanted to, if they wanted to address hate speech, why did they do something about all the uh, hate speech that goes on every weekend regarding a certain uh, war that is going on uh, away from Canada? The, there are certain people, well, well, we'll call them the watermelon people, who are creating so much hate speech. You don't even need to go online to find it. You can find it on any news report. Nobody's doing nothing about that, though, are they? Will the Conservatives oppose the reintroduction of these provisions and the Liberals' approach to so-called online hate speech? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So you're probably thinking, if you're not thinking correctly, you're probably thinking, well, how do we protect our children online? How do we do it? The children. Will, will somebody not think about the children? Well, <laughs> most parents have got the common sense to set up a parental uh, code into a computer or even on a TV, even on a Rogers TV, you can set a parental code so you can set it so that Johnny doesn't have to watch CBC. You know, you can set that code to protect the children from the CBC or from CP24. Set a code and they can't go on it. Set a code so that only adults can, can, can access it for the children. We don't need a government to overrun and to set these things and to dictate what is and what is not hate speech because what they think is hate speech might just be conversations that we want around jibby jabbies or mandates they might think it's hate speech we might think it's a human right issue exactly till next time <laughs>